Okay, hey, oh shit, it's on. Talking fast. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Chevy Show. Chevy's here, it's late in the evening here. Uh, I apologize, my shirt is very wrinkled up and I'm not, I like to normally have all my fresh shit for the camera, but fuck it, uh, I gotta do laundry. Okay. By the way, this shirt is from the Dominican Republic in a store in Puerto Plata called Jimenez. Yeah, they sell this like cheap clothing or whatever, but you know, all right stuff. But it's like this shirt is that old. It's in the back of the closet. I got laundry to do. So anyway, this is an episode about food and nutrition and shit. I don't, I talk about a variety of stuff. Uh, so it's my show, the Shemmy show, so whatever. Um, I started doing uh, shakes in a blender, Liquidora, like, Mm, man, about six months ago, and it made a really big difference. I have about four shakes a day now. Uh, protein powder, BCAA, uh, vegetables, and uh, I'm going to show you. I just came back from the grocery store, so before I put this stuff away, I was like, oh, I ought to go on the thing and do my show and my shake thing. So here's what we got here. Uh, first, we have, this is off of Aldi, by the way. I shop at the quote-unquote old people grocery stores, but they have the best prices, so whatever. Aldi's a German store, actually. Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, kale, the vegetable. I put that in my shake, actually, about a handful of each one, along with orange juice, not from concentrate. Important is not from concentrate. High pulp, you know. 100% uh, either almond milk or coconut milk, and I got coconut milk this time, you know. I'm lactose intolerant, by the way. Uh, some Bought the strawberries, 99 cents, because it's strawberry season right now in uh, down in the south. Got a little bit of uh, ginger, ginger root or whatever. I use a cheese grater or whatever to grate this into the shake. Got my protein powder from Aldi, 30 grams. So I do uh, 60 grams, two scoops in each shake. Each shake then comes out to 170 times two calories. So uh, that will be three, what? 340 calories per shake, I believe, and 60 grams of protein. So I'm having that like three times a day. Basically, you want to try to get, I, I've read that bodybuilders are supposed to do one gram of protein per pound of body weight a day. So let's say if you weigh, like me, I say I weigh 170 pounds or 160 something pounds or something in that area. Uh, that means I should consume 170 grams of protein. So if each shake is 60, just from the shakes alone, three shakes a day, I have my protein or I'm maxed out on it. And a lot of people will say that that's too much protein intake, but I disagree because it's like, it's working. These are basically meal replacements. So I'm having them, I'm having a little bit of grits in the morning, sometimes oatmeal, and maybe some rice and beans or something for lunch or afternoon. but. That's that. And uh, my shakes, oh, I forgot the important thing too. Uh, BCAA powder, branch chain amino acid powder. This one's got seven, seven grams of BCAAs per scoop. I have these in the morning. This is like an after workout recovery thing that helps rebuild your muscles. BCAA, look it up, it's important. Leucine, isoleucine, and uh, some other shit. But this was the best one I could find on Amazon. It was like $17, I think. Most of these supplements, if I don't get them on Aldi, they're on Amazon. And you wanna look for the one with the highest number. It's one 7,000 Gs of BCAAs. And the ones in Walmart only had like 5,000 maximum. So when I get the extra two grams, you know, for cheaper on Amazon, you know. Um, one day, hopefully, I can white label all these products myself and put my own sticker on them and drop ship them, who knows. One day, one day. Okay, so what else I got here? I got tea from the Dollar Store, from Dollar Tree, that Doria Peters likes to go to to follow me to. At Dollar Tree, they sell tea for a dollar. So uh, after after six o'clock, all that I have every day is tea, and after an evening hit cardio workout, I have also one scoop of the BCAA powder. Where did it go? With my tea, and uh, for recovery after this intense workout in the evening. So. Um, yeah, man. Uh, oh, what else did I forget here? The spring mix out just regular salad, salad leaves in the box from Aldi. This is like $3 or something, too. I go through about one of these per week. So even though I don't actually eat salad and I don't like vegetables, I put them in the blender with my stuff and make a shake. I often use also uh, 
It's called Asa Acai Berry, A-C-A-I, I believe it's spelled. Uh, it's a Brazil Brazilian berry that's high in antioxidant. A lot. A lot, it's just good shit. So I put that in the shake too. It's from Amazon. It's $10.99. I think it's reasonable. So compiling all this into the shake and making a nutritious, high protein, high vitamin, high whatever meal, the results are great. Um, there's no... I'm not, I, I'm not following anybody's particular diet for this. I, I also add, oh, what else? Apple cider vinegar. I add some of that to this also. It lowers the pH of your blood sugar before you consume food and drink and whatever too. So this is like a super shake that I'm having. And sometimes you can put bean sprouts and other shit in them too, but whatever. It does work. The end result works. It's filling and it's more nutritious for my body, I find, than having, say, a sandwich. Like, I no longer eat typically bread pizza, uh, meat in general, I just don't purchase or consume. Uh, very rarely fish unless salmon sometimes. Sushi, I like sushi still. But I mean, it's like, uh, I've cut back a lot of my food. But this is by, everything I showed you in this box here, like, uh, <laughs> big box of food. And, and, uh, and all of you, they don't give you bags or whatever either. You like, carry it out, <laughs> you know, so. I. <laughs> That's all that I got from the store. There is no other grocery bags. There's no other shit in the car. That's it right there. Along with like, you know, a jug of water or something like that. But that's it. So this means I'm spending not much, what, like 30 bucks on food or whatever a week, plus some more on vitamins and stuff I didn't show you yet. But it's like, it really helps t to d clear your budget out when you're not buying a cart full of shit. I don't buy anything frozen, hardly anything canned. Uh, sodas. I, I bypass all these aisles in the store and just got this shit. All that I have is salad leaves, juice, tea, protein powder, and vegetables in the bag. What more do you need? You know, so I don't, it, it fills me up, it's nutritious and it's good. I don't think I should have to justify it to anybody else, but the end result works. Uh, along with uh, the big thing, the big crucial thing that I didn't mention, I'm doing what they call time-restricted eating. Think about this. Put your body on a cycle where you wake up and work out at the same time every day. And you, I'm basically on what they call like a 16-hour fast or a 14-hour fast. It's like, it's like doing opposite clock of Ramadan for Muslims. It's like I eat from, say, 9 a.m. until 6 or 7 p.m. at night at the very latest, right? And after 6 or 7, I cut the food consumption off. Nothing but tea and maybe the BCAA powder in the tea once, one time, because it's, I read the box, it says you're not, usually the BCAA powder, it says don't take more than one or two scoops a day. You know, I take, no, I take one in the morning and one in the evening. So they put these recommendations in the bottle for a reason, so I'm sure there's probably a reason for that shit. So uh, have that in my tea. If I'm hungry after six o'clock, tea. After working out, tea and BCAA powder. But no solid food, no sugars, no fruits, no uh, no, not, no midnight snack, no nine o'clock donut, no, no. Pretty much if you consume any sugars or any solid food or any nutrition at all other than water or tea, and tea is basically just hot water with fucking tree bark or plant leaves and a little sachet basically. So. No, zero calories. The BCAA is also zero calories, zero sugar. So anytime your body gets the sugar, you're, it's going to reactivate your, your whatever, endocrine or digestive system or whatever. And it's like it starts the process over. You can't really burn the fat. But if you stop eating at 6 o'clock, your body can slowly start peeling off layers of fat from your belly area and back area and uh, whatever. But if you eat after 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 until midnight, your body can never rest and reset. It never has time to, you know, it's like leaving your car running. If you're eating after 6 or 7, it's like leaving your car running in the driveway after you get home. Like it's, let it rest, let it reset. You know, think about, think about it like that, you know what I'm saying? So the end result is that it works. Now a lot of shit I've tried, it doesn't work, but this, this accelerated the process of my fat loss, six pack abs, the workout, the hit cardio, we're doing the, I'm doing a lot of workout basically, running an hour in the morning every day, hit cardio in the evening, weights here as you can see. So I mean it's a lot of hard work, dedication, vitamins and all that shit, but everything helps 5% here, 10% there. And before you know it, you're, you're kind of slowly on the path to getting back in shape. So the shake thing works, it's cheap, 
it's a good way to lower your grocery bill, and I recommend it. You know, whatever. You know, I'm fucking naked on the internet, so I'm I'm a little self-conscious. If you can't tell, I don't want to be a fat fuck with a fucking exercise ball belly or whatever. You know, so I'm gonna work out. This is what my to my fucking belly looks like now. I'm still a little fat. You still got some stretch marks, but you know, fuck it. I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So like, uh, the end result is that this this is just results after like six months or so of this of changing my nutrition plan and uh, shit like that. So it does work. Stacking or whatever works every day. A little bit helps. A little bit helps, and you get results in the long term. It's a lifelong thing, you know, if I go back to eating pizza and meat and shit like that and grease and after eating after six or seven and all that shit, then, you know, I'm going to slow down and reverse my pro reverse the process going on. So why, why do that? I'm trying to shed my back fat now. So, so that's all for tonight. Um, it's after six, so I can't eat nothing till the morning. So I'm just going to heat up some tea and whatever. And for those of you first trying this thing out, time restricted eating or intermittent fasting, it's like... The first couple of days will be difficult to get used to not eating after dinner time or whatever, but having the tea, having tea, a cup of tea or whatever, will help to stave off the hunger. And after a day or two, your body's used to it, and you actually have more energy and gain and build and retain more muscle by doing it this way. So, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It just makes sense on every level. If your body's showing you positive results, you should continue it. You know, if it's not showing results, you should abandon it. But the shit's working for me, so I'm going to continue this way. And uh, this is great for me because I don't like eating salads. I really don't like vegetables, but so long as I can put them in a blender and juice them up and drink them, hey, whatever, you know. And I guess by drinking the shake with the protein powder and all this super nutrient shit or whatever, uh, you're, it's going to uptake to your bloodstream faster and your heart's going to distribute it to your muscles and all that shit quicker than if you have to chew it, digest it, and all that other shit. So, yeah, man, I've, uh, I'm a guinea pig, and the diet and the exercise thing and everything works, and, you know, I feel much younger now, and shit's just better, you know.